up here to the um, Bojangles so I can get me a biscuit and a coffee. It is 11.29. I called my DM. Girl, I don't even want to get started on that shit, but um, I'm going to give me a biscuit. And yeah. This is going to be real short, but the thing I like about this Bojangles though, honey, you got truck parking. It ain't nothing but like three spaces, but still, they got truck parking. You don't find that in no bag on Bojangles. And it's in Charlotte. Mm. I be dragging without some coffee, honey. I don't care where I get the coffee from. I be dragging without it. But I got two. Two sugar biscuits. That's what it is. What it's gonna turn into? I got two biscuits, the egg biscuits, but you know, nothing much. I'm trying to do too much. About to eat. This is what my truck looks like when it is like actually clean or whatever i know it's a lot of stuff this is my office <laughs> i know it's a lot of stuff but you know it'd be like this sometimes i just wanted to come on here real quick and like talk about the fact that i got a lot of new people because i'm new i got a lot of new people on uh, rookie drivers or whatever um on a lot of my videos and i'm glad um ain't no super truckers and shit I be blocking the fuck out of people with their negative ass comments or I'll say something about your mama. I really don't give a fuck. Um, but the first two weeks, your first two weeks at least, <laughs> at the minimum, <laughs> your first two weeks are going to be the absolute hardest, okay? Especially when you buy yourself. Um, it's just going to be fucking hard. Like, I got anxiety, so my anxiety was like through the roof. But now, you know, I'm starting to find my groove. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting into it and I'm actually like enjoying the shit. Snyder or any other company you go to, you're going to have to have some patience with these people. You know, I really am. I really am trying to be patient with my driver manager, but I'm really about to ask HR for another person because I never can get her on the phone. Um, she seems like a really nice lady, but maybe she has too many drivers up under her. I don't know. Um, it ain't my job to figure it out. So I'm going to ask for another one. I'm trying to give her a chance. You know what I'm saying? But every time I call her, she don't answer the fucking phone. I end up getting um, uh, these other two ladies, who, which I love because they are so fucking helpful. Um, so it's not everybody in the company. Like you're going to come across people that you just don't mesh with. And I need to be able to mesh with my driver manager. Um, but those two ladies usually work on the weekends. So it's going to be hard for me to probably get somebody else. So I'm probably just going to, you know, go with it. I just sent a message so I can get me another load. I had to get my APU fixed last night because I was cold. So my APU was not working. I was in like the bottom half of Georgia the other day. And the bitch just cut off. 
at a rest area, okay? It was like 30 something degrees outside and the truck won't idle unless it's under 20 degrees, which is so fucking stupid. And so, yeah, they had to fix that shit yesterday. So right now it's working. Um, I gotta get some other stuff on here fixed, but they changed my oil, all my oil filters, fuel filters, all that shit uh, yesterday. Put me a steer tire on. So we should be pretty good right now. <clears throat> And then, like, when I got some more time on my hands and I'm back in Charlotte, they can fix the sleeve for my tablet because it's not charging my tablet. Um, so, yeah. But, anyway, I'm finding my groove. Like, I'm enjoying my job now. It feels so good to say that. The only thing I can really say right now that I'm struggling with, of course, because I'm still new, is my backing. So, but I have really been working on my um setup and if your setup is fucked up your back can go be fucked up if you got the space use all the space you have available to you in order to back it up okay um because in the beginning girl i couldn't back this truck up if back that ass up the song came on okay like i could not back this motherfucker up for shit and I started watching videos because, of course, I went to Western. I did not have, like, no backing training. They wouldn't even let my trainer keep me for an extra two days to show me how to back. And I was on a flatbed with Western. So, right now, I'm on a box. So, um, I've been working on my back end and trying to practice. I don't like doing it in front of people because, you know, some of them rude. And a lot of people will just sit there and stare at you when you backing up somewhere. And it's so fucking awkward. And I just start staring back. Like, you gonna be weird? I'm gonna be weird with you, baby. Like, I have no problem with that. I'm already weird anyway. So, um, yeah. But I just wanted to come on here and just talk to y'all a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? I'm still waiting on my load. I'll probably be waiting on it. I don't know where the hell I'm going today or this week. And they tried to send me to Allentown, PA. It's supposed to snow up there uh, this week, towards the end of the week, when they go try to bring me back home. No, ma'am. Southeast region. That's what I signed up for. That's what I'm expecting to damn do this week anyway. I don't mind going up north because who gives a fuck? I, I'm, I signed up for trucking. But wintertime, not that kind of snow. Southern snow. I'm driving that shit all day. Up there? No, ma'am. I'm not even experienced enough to be up there. The other thing that I noticed about um, Snyder... <clears throat> It's not a lot of communication between SEM, meaning like emergency maintenance people, or even the shop, okay, at the OC. Um, the shop and emergency maintenance between dispatch, it's like, is somebody not checking their emails? Like, are y'all can y'all not call the office to each other? Like, I'm confused with that part. Like, they don't be knowing what be going on. Like, you have to tell them you're getting something fixed on your truck or something wrong with your truck in order for them to know. Like, I don't... I don't understand that, but I don't know. I come from working with food line and dispatching for them, like the actual like OC for them. And it was a lot of communication going on with dispatchers. So I'm not understanding that part with Snyder. Like that's not making sense, but everybody, everybody company different. So it is what it is. Okay. So, um, somebody just asked me, could they park behind me? Of course. the fuck. But anyway, um, I'm gonna make more videos like this and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short. I'm still waiting on my load. I don't know what they got going on. Um, I put myself on a 30 minute break and I got all my hours back. So I'll probably come back and make another one like this. Who knows? But peace out.